What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are at What I Lie to You, Bob Mortimer's Theft and Shrubbery. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and let's do it. As a teenager, I used to terrorize my neighborhood with a game I invented <laughs> called Theft and Shrubbery. <laughs> what were the rules of theft and shrubbery? Can I first of all say my memories of this are a bit sketchy? <laughs> 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 I'm an older gentleman. They're more like just, you know, just fingerprints on an abandoned handrail. <laughs> 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 Even while you poetically describe the aging process, another part of your brain is inventing the rules of a fiction. Game. <laughs> <laughs> shrubbery. Yep. It's a game that I played in my youth, in my teens, in um, on the Lakes Estate in Middlesbrough. I would probably be fourteen or fifteen. Um, I hope that's all the information you need. <laughs> <laughs> This game involved. Yes, of course. Of course. In which case, I'm satisfied and there's no need to tell. <laughs> <laughs> what were the rules? Um, there would have to be a gang of you. I would usually be with um, Stava and Bagger. Um, <laughs> well, I didn't realise you knew hobbits. As a <laughs> I don't know if I remember this story, man. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I know I've seen this, but I'm struggling to remember this. We're all a, a Jerry Dungaree's son. Because he <laughs> didn't take his father's name. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 And, and, and Gary Cheeseman would be there. The reason he was called Cheesy is because his mum used to give him a cheese, do you know the cheese slice? Yeah. yeah. To take out with him yeah. when we were hanging around the shops what? and that. Because she wanted to, because she thought it was good for a spot. <laughs> Gary Cheeseman was a big lad, yeah, a very big head, a sniper's dream they used to call him. <laughs> <laughs> sniper's dream, now the next big head person. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely using that though. That's going in my arsenal of jokes. <laughs> like, dog, you got a sniper's dream on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he's such a nice. The thing is, he's such a nice lad. And it was a, it was a, I love these points in the show where we say, Bob, let, let's all gather around the fireside. <laughs> Of your youth. <laughs> oh my god. So the rules of the game. Of course you The rules shrubbery. of the game. Okay. Theft and how you how you feeling so far? Huh? How you feeling so far? What you think? You leaning one way or another or you gotta hear more information? I need to hear more. Okay. That's understandable. That's understandable. Shrubbery. <laughs> <laughs> Well, relatively simple. You had to creep into the back of someone's house and observe the family watching the telly or whatever they're doing, yeah? It's getting a bit sinister now, Bob. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is this at night? This is on the evening time, yeah. So, so the, the, the family, as it were, backlit by the yes, domestic lighting. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'd find one where the curtains were open, yeah? Go to the rear of the garden and then you'd slowly walk towards the window. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Try not to disturb them, and you'd chant, increasingly increasing the, vo the uh, volume as you went. <laughs> we do beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> we are in I, this is scary, my kids. You for real, dog. You see how it is. To be honest, yes. <laughs> I'd be like crying. <laughs> be like, there you go. Look what it is. I really would. I do that all the time when I hear something. Oh, everything. Yeah. We do beg your pardon. <laughs> do beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in your garden. <laughs> you were seen that's when shrubbery comes in which was what you were not allowed to escape 
via the front of the property. You had to go across all the fences. Because you're teenagers, what you're really waiting for is someone to make a noise or give yourself away yeah. so that you all have to go run, run through all the gardens. That's the shrubbery That's part. That's the shrubbery What's part. What's the theft thing? part? The, the theft is, is... We just always felt that we were stealing something from them. <laughs> their privacy. Their privacy, their dignity. <laughs> So you, you're going up the garden saying louder and louder, we do beg your pardon, we are in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> we do beg your pardon, we are in your garden. You're shouting. How, how loud are how loud you people who are hard of hearing? You could be going, we do beg your pardon! <laughs> oh, they notice it. Yeah. This game can't have lasted. I'm imagining very long before people kind of rumbled you and... No, it was just one of the games, you know, you, you, that we did. It could be um, theft and shrubbery night. There was another night where we used to take fruit from um, a fruit vendor's wagon and throw that up in the air and just let it drop on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> it tells me you played that quite a lot, Bob. Next time, don't use melons. Cheeseman was very good at it. <laughs> So what do you think, David? You got the information given to you, what we thinking? I'm going to say it's the truth. It's the truth? You think they played this game called Theft and Shrubbery? Yeah. It sounds like something a kid would do. <laughs> we do beg your pardon. We're yeah, in your garden. garden. <laughs> <laughs> I would go around chanting that. Yeah, I can see, I can see people like running over the fence, teenagers wanting to jump over fences to get away you know doing all that yeah i've been scaring people yeah <laughs> he said what was the theft part we felt like we were stealing something from them <laughs> <laughs> their privacy <laughs> 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 nah they were uh, feel safe in their home <laughs> <laughs> we stole their sense of security <laughs> i don't know I feel, I feel like if i didn't see who was out there i would feel like yeah. We gotta move. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, it's some spirits in the backyard. Dog. I swear. Yeah. They'd be like, they'd be like, what they say? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, dog. Because, hey, I done seen enough <laughs> movies, dog. I ain't messing with it. And Kinsey get possessed. That's going to be the end of me and Kinsey, dog. In the movies, they be trying to stay with their loved ones. I be like, nah. <laughs> well, I also feel like in the movies, whoever gets, like, is about to get possessed and whoever notices it first. Is always the one who they try to tell their partner and their partner just kind of like blows it yep. off and they're like, no, that's not what's going on. No, yep. you're just being crazy. No, you just need to get some rest. No, nah, I'd be like, Kizzy, tell me. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> I... <laughs> you going to take me with you? <laughs> be like, I'm going to hit you up in about a month. We're going we gonna to see how you do it. Be like, if I... <laughs> if I can't get in touch with you in a month, I know it didn't end with <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But I can't, I can't risk my life, dog. Why would you say? Well, if I got possessed, I guess I understand. But yeah, if I got possessed, I would need. Thank you. I would want you to stay around, dog. Dude. Because why yeah. sacrifice your? I'm already dead, basically. That possession gonna kill me. So why sacrifice your life? But if I wasn't possessed yet, but I was hearing stuff, would you take me? You was hearing stuff. Mm-hmm. That if I'm I was hearing, hearing and seeing stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, I got to go. Why? I haven't been taken yet, because bro. Because you hearing and seeing stuff, dog. But I haven't been taken yet. But but you hearing and seeing stuff that you shouldn't be hearing and seeing. That I'm <laughs> not hearing and seeing. So you hearing and seeing it. I'm not hearing and seeing. Means I'm a step further. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in deeper. <laughs> You might not be possessed, but it's some kind of spirit that wants you to see and hear these things. Dog. And in the movies, it'd be a slow build up to that possession. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I have to go. I'd That's be what like, I'm saying. You just got to live. Mom ain't going to abandon you. You just got to go back to mom's for a I while. Asked, I asked my husband, come on. <sighs> Kenzie. Kenzie. I love you today. But we're talking about demons <laughs> we're talking about the devil's work dog <coughs> and you want me to stay around and try to save you that's dude, you, you want me to take god place what i can do for you i can pray for you <laughs> i can pray for you dog i can call you a pastor or a priest to come help you I can, but that's about all I can do, dog. I, I ain't Jesus. I can't, I can't put my hand on you and heal you. 
So. No, I just rub some holy water. <laughs> nah, I seen the way them demons react to that holy water, dog. I lose an arm trying to touch you with holy water. <laughs> And some of them don't even be fazed. They be laughing about it in the movies. But yeah, you get possessed, you just got to. <coughs> you got to get unpossessed before we can get back together. Yeah, unpossessed. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't worry that I would get possessed again? Bro. I would worry. Or that, I would I, watch or that you. I'm technically, I basically, I'm still in there, but. I would keep a close eye on you, dog. Any little, any little misbehavior or out of the strange behavior that I see, I'm, nah, I got to. Be like Kenzie, we just ain't gonna make it, dog. You wouldn't even tell me, bro. You would just leave. Yeah. <laughs> Could you be afraid? I kill you. Yeah. I had to, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we all know how we got all the way to that point. <laughs> Where well, you gonna see if he was telling the truth or not? You said your answer was truth, right? Yeah. My concern is that the details are so utterly believable and sound like they're real that if it wasn't actually a game, he spent an awful lot of time looking through people's windows. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> down on the on the side of the truth. Yeah, I know it sounds odd, but I just believe it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so theft and shrubbery, Bob, truth or lie? I was telling the truth. <laughs> Crazy. I told you, <coughs> you done got Bob Mortimer down. You just guess true on all of his stories, don't you? No, I guess no. One time, you guess false one time. Yeah, and it was, and I got it wrong. Okay. But when everybody said that they believed it, I was like, dang, I got it wrong. Because if they believe it, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I feel like most of the time, when I'm, the, I'm like the only one who do believe it. Then that's when you feel like you're wrong. You never no. know with Bob, dog. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> that's all we got. Y'all <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up. We out.